Do you want to speak English clearly and confidently is in the next 30 minutes I will help you to fix them and transform your English speaking skills forever. You are going to immerse yourself in clear English. So hi everyone my name is Shalima and welcome back to my another session of learning English and improving your English speaking skills with me. So get ready to speak clearly and confidently in English. Do you want to speak English clearly and confidently in just 30 minutes? Well, you can. But first, let's talk about why so many English learners struggle to sound clear and fluent. Are you making these common mistakes? So let's find out because in the next 30 minutes, I will help you to fix them and transform your English speaking skills forever. So before beginning, Please subscribe to the channel so that you can get all the lessons that I post for you on this channel and don't forget to watch my yes day before yesterday's video where I have just talked about the six techniques that you can just you know uh, take up those techniques for 90 days before entering in 2025 so watch that video till the very end and you will improve your fluency in just 90 days all right so now like the video and share my video with your friends, with your loved ones and the person who need this stuff, alright? So now, coming back to today's lesson and in today's lesson, over the next 30 minutes, you are going to immerse yourself in clear English so that you can speak clearly and confidently in your English conversations. So let's get started speaking clear, confident English by learning which five important mistakes in English you should avoid. So let's go. Oh man, you look so boring. Oh no guys, don't say this in English. This is extremely rude. The first common speaking mistake is the one you just heard. Boring versus bold. It's understandable that these words are a common mistake because they both have a similar meaning. They talk about something or someone that's not interesting. But the difference comes in how we use them grammatically. All right. The word boring is for something or someone that's not interesting. All right. For example, that movie was boring. All right. I went on a date with him and he was so boring. He just talked about sports the whole time. It's not a compliment but the word bored refers to the feelings you have when you, you know, watch that boring movie or when you go on that boring date, you feel bored. Alright, so at the beginning of this lesson when I said Oh man, you look so boring. Oh no guys, that's not nice. It means you are not interesting. Instead, I should have said, Oh man, you look so bored. Alright, it means you are not doing anything fun. You feel like you need some more fun in your life. I feel bored. Okay, so guys, let's look at a couple sample sentences. This documentary about sand is boring. I feel so bored. Can you please watch something else? I was so bored during that lecture. To me, physics is just boring. Sorry people who like physics. <laughs> so now I have a little quiz for you guys. I want you to choose is the word boring or bold. The best fit for this sentence. Okay? The sentences are here, okay. Shalima's lessons are not dash. I never feel dash. What's the correct answer, guys? What's the correct answer here? All right. So I will give you three seconds. All right. Three, two, one. Shalima's lessons are not boring. I feel never bored. Oh, I hope that's true. Common speaking mistakes number two is the one that native English speakers make too. It is well versus good. Okay. 
have you ever heard someone say mm, i don't feel good you know what guys that's a mistake instead it should be i don't feel well so what's the difference let me tell you guys the word well is an adverb that means it adds something to the verb okay so when you say i don't feel well well is talking about how you feel i don't feel well i have a headache i have a stomach ache i need to go lie down if you said i don't feel good this means that my sense of touch is not good okay maybe you burn your fingers yeah i just don't feel good anymore it's very unusual thing to say all right so instead when you are talking about your health when you can uh, you can use this correctly okay and say i don't feel well what about the word good well the word good is an adjective okay so it needs to describe a noun you might say wow shalima this is a really good lesson okay if you feel this please let me know in the comment section all right so good is describing lesson all right or you could say i really need a good grade in this class or i am going to fail i don't want to tell you of an exception in spoken english i mentioned that sometimes native english speakers use this incorrectly but there is one case when we use it incorrectly and i actually recommend using it like that you so you don't seem to you know snobby all right so let me tell you guys about it if someone ask you the common greeting question all right how are you doing or you want to answer with grammatical correctness you would need to say i am good i am doing well okay i am doing well but you know what if you said this someone might think oh did you come from the 16th century are you an english professor maybe you are but in this case it's grammatically correct but it is not commonly used and it feels a little bit weird in just daily conversation so what should you say instead well here you have it okay your english teacher telling you to make a mistake on purpose all right and that's it if someone says says how are you doing you could say pretty good and you good is actually the most common response even though it's not technically grammatically correct who knew you should make mistakes so now it's time for a little test can you choose which word fits in which blank good or well okay i need to do on that test because i need a grade i'll give you 3 seconds 3 2 1 i need to do well on that test because i need to i need a good grade okay great work common speaking mistake number 3 and is another pair of similar words and that is job versus work job versus work these both means your career something that you do generally to make money but they function differently grammatically in a sentence all right the word work can be both a verb okay and i work or it can be a noun my work is as a teacher and the word job can only be a noun all right let's take a look at a couple of sentences all right my first one is my job is to manage my team this is a noun and it's talking about your career my job is to manage my team or you could say i work on a marketing team this is as a verb what if we put these together in a sentence you could say i work with a lot of interesting people at my new job i do want to teach you two things to be careful of with these two phrases all right 
one is the fixed phrase that you will use often and that is at work all right this is talking about the place where you work where were you at six o'clock tonight or in the evening we were waiting for you at dinner you might say sorry i was at work i had to do something extra before i left or you could say i was so busy at work today so yes it's talking about the place but this is a fixed phrase that you can use to talk about where you were i was at work i was busy at work today earlier i mentioned that the that the word work can be used as a verb or as a noun okay and the word job can be used as a noun so can they can be used interchangeably okay at all so take a look at this you could say i love my job or you could say i love my work but be careful guys there is a new difference between these two if you say i love my job cool it just means what you said i like what i do to make money but when you say i love my work this feels like there is a deeper significance to what you do at your job for example maybe you help homeless people to find a home or you are helping people who are in a domestic violence situation get a better life all right so you are really changing you are really changing people's life kind of with a deeper significance so if you say i love my work this has the underlying idea that you are changing the world or, or at least changing someone's world all right it's a very deep feeling all right now it's time for a little test guys can you choose which blank needs the word job and which blank needs the word work for my i need to late hours i will give you 3 seconds guys 3 2 1 for my job i need to work late hours great the next common speaking mistakes are two similar words again in and at oh i receive many questions from english students and they are asking shalima how can i remember when to use in and when to use at well let me give you some ideas this is tricky because we use both at and in when we are talking about time but we use the word at specifically for specific times for example at midnight at 5 o'clock at noon okay this is at specifically that time but the word in is used for more generally take a look at this in the morning in the evening in 5 minutes in 6 hours you didn't say at 3:30 you said no we will have a meeting in the morning in the evening in 5 minutes in 6 days let's take a look at some sentences guys can you meet me at noon i know that that's only in 30 minutes but you can make it so i'm asking you hey i know this in the last minute notice but can you make it can you meet me at noon this is specific time in the duration of time in 30 minutes let's take a look at another one guys so you are invited to my birthday party the party is in 10 days and it, it starts at 7 o'clock wonderful are you ready for a little test if you are ready please let me know in the comment section i want you to decide which bank which blank needs a word in and which blanks need the word at take a look 3 days when my vacation starts i won't need to wake up 6 am anymore i can sleep in all right i will give you 3 seconds to decide all right and let me know in the comment section also in 3 days when my vacation starts i won't need to wake up at 6 am anymore uh, it's so nice on vacation to sleep in 
if you would like to dive deeper into this topic i i will make another video comparing in on and at if you want if you want a more clarity i'll make another video please let me know in the comment sections if you want i will definitely make another video for you all all right so our fifth and final common mistake the speaking mistake is to talk with someone or talk to someone i want to show you two sentences and i want you to guess which one is best okay i am uh, talking with my friends or i am talking to my friends which one do you think is better i will give you 3 seconds okay let's do our quiz now 3 2 1 well you know what guys this is a trick question because both of these are equally acceptable in spoken english conversation okay i have heard that some people say when you you was talk to someone it has the sense that there's an authority i'm talking to someone who has less authority than me okay i talk to my employees i talk to my child but really in daily spoken english in the you know us and uk we use both of these phrases okay interchangeably you could say i talk to my boss about the important meeting for next week i talk to my child i talk to my friend or you could say i talk with my friends i talk with my boss okay i talk with my friends i talk with my child you could use these interchangeably in spoken english and it's not a problem guys so if you are one of those english learner that has ever you know wondered should i say talk to or talk with you know what you could just take that concern and throw it out of your brain okay out of your brain it doesn't matter these five mistakes in english and i want you to you know i want you to help you more in that if you want i can make another video on that i can make separate video on that all right so i think that's enough for this today's video guys if you want uh, if you want to just improve your english so don't forget to watch my day before yesterday's video where i have just told you the 90 days english speaking challenge uh before entering in 2025 so if you wish you can watch that video and you can get a lot of ideas from where you can just get, improve your english speaking skills in 90 days all right so if you didn't watch till now just you go and watch that video and that's it for today's video guys if you like the video please give thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel so thanks for watching bye bye take care